Good morning. I've had quite a few people struggling to get on to iReady, and so I just wanted to make a quick little video. If you have an Apple device, an Apple iPad, um, you need to make sure that you download the iReady app and the Clever app. Okay? You can log in with your username and password, or you can scan your badge. So if you want to scan your badge, I can definitely um, send you the QR code. So here it is where you can log in with your Active Directory. This is what you would push to um, enter your uh, password and email. Excuse me, your email as your username and then your password. Um, these were given to you guys on the top of the folders that you picked up. But your child, you know, being a fifth grader, he should or she should know her username and password. If not, I can look it up for you on, on iNow. Also, when you are getting on, whether you're on a computer or a tablet, it is important to be on Google Chrome. Google Chrome seems to work the best with this. So if you are on an Android tablet, um, go to your internet browser, uh, make sure it is Google Chrome, and type in iReady. And when you get to the iReady login screen, Hold on, hold on. It's loading. Now I am on an Apple product, so I won't be able to show you exactly what to do here. Okay, so you're gonna get to this login iReady screen, and when you click this, it's going to say, your internet browser is not supported. Well, on an Android device, there are three little dots. Supposedly there are three little dots up here in the corner. And if you hit the three little dots and you hit desktop view, um, it should let you in. So I hope this helps a little bit. Um, just like I said, make sure that you have the iReady for Students app downloaded and the Clever app down. Okay, another option is to get on your internet, whether you're on a computer or an Android device or an iPad, and search mcpss.com, that's Mobile County Public School System's website, and you will click our students and you'll log yourself in using your username and password um, again the same username and password email address and password um, and then it will bring you to like a student back office so to speak and you'll scroll down for the clever click on clever and it will ask you to log in with active directory you'll click that and boom you'll be into your eye ready that way. Anyway, I hope these uh, little tidbits help you guys. Let me know.